Okay, that was already the end of the arm cycle. We're going quick today. We don't have a whole lot of time. So I'm gonna pop off the arm. I'm gonna save this for later. We're doing shoulders. I'm coming back to that. We're gonna put these armbands on after your leg bands. You don't even know what hits you. You got a Mack truck coming at you down the road and it's coming for you. But you don't know what it's gonna feel like yet. Because when you put these bands on your arms and you do some lat raises with a lightweight, the shoulders are gonna feel like cannonballs. All right, get the leg bands on. Make sure everything is where it needs to be. Don't uh, hurt yourself. Pop, pop that on. Leg bands. Okay, so we did cycle with the armbands. And that was a good warm up primer. Okay, we did some shoulder stability stuff. So front loaded, weight shifting, shoulder tapping, pressing up, pulling down, all different sorts of directions. And short blades, leg there, leg there. Connect the dots, pop. Put them out of the way, okay. So I'm gonna do a little bit of jumping today. I'm not really gonna focus so much on my leg strength, but more I'm gonna focus on my shoulders. So we're gonna do a little plyometric leg work in between what we're doing the shoulders. What I like to do with this band here is I'll overlap kind of like so, but you don't wanna kink that hose because then it doesn't fill up as well and it kind of takes longer. So if you kind of just overlap little circles over here like that, Make sure everything's nice and happy. Pull your shoulder there, then you can jump and you're not catching those tubes. Okay, leg bands, let's do this. All right, so we're on pro high, pro high. Hit my watch, forgot to hit the rest button. So as that's filling up, wait for that to reset, there we go. So I'm just gonna start nice and easy. Again, hips, okay, so from your torso, to your thighs. This is a very important power, stability, force, transducer, all kinds of stuff. So don't be afraid just to get your hips in the game. So nice easy squat. Again, as I'm kind of pushing my butt back and with each squat, I'm progressively trying to get a little deeper. Oh, you can always squat down, shift your weight side to side all kinds of things you can do in a squat. We're doing upper body overhead pressing motion. So one good dynamic stretch you can incorporate is squat, put your hand here, reach up, hand there, reach up. So I'm pushing against this arm to really push that upper thoracic rotation. All right, that was our cycle one. Why are you doing cycle two? So stay with me now. Back to a jump rope. Now I've got the leg bands on, and now this is gonna make this jump rope cycle that much harder. So subconsciously, always kind of grabbing at my cat suit, make sure it's on my belt. Again, I don't wanna break this. If I jump around, it flops around, smashes into the wall. It's gonna ruin my day. I love this thing. Cat suit's awesome. Takes any workout and dials it right into exactly what you want. So jump roping, go a single leg, double tap, double tap, double tap, double tap, double tap. Swing that leg, whoo, whoo, whoo. Don't be afraid to be silly. Okay. Cycle number three, we're doing shoulders, right? What am I doing all this leg stuff for? I'll show you why. Mix it in with the legs, gotta have nice, strong upper back if you're gonna have nice, strong shoulders. Here we go, here we go. We're gonna do inverted TRX row with a squeeze. TRX, a little bit higher than my waist level. Hang on, pull those arms back, walk yourself under, nice and easy. Down, squeeze, pause at the top, two, Three, four, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold it, walk it back. Good. Scap squeezes. Really pull those scapulas, pull those shoulder blades back together. Squeeze them together. Open up that chest. Get that front anterior muscle chain to relax by pulling on the back. Going back to the old rollout. Abs are important. T-Rex, knee height, standing directly under the anchor point. Push down ever so slightly. Shuffle your feet back. So feet a little bit wider than your shoulders. And roll out, baby. Roll out. Roll. As you roll, really suck that stomach in. Keep it tight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, okay. Whew. All right, we're doing shoulders. We're gonna do a little bit heavier today. I'm gonna feel my shoulders today. So. Mix it in with the upper body. We're gonna do lower body as well. We're on cycle five. This time, I'm gonna do like a jump lunge. So, side to side. Pushing off the inside of that front foot. Remember, it's that whole like skater sort of lunge. So start with vertical displacement. You can start by short steps. And then gradually go long, long, Long. Whew, this is going to get your heart rate going. A little side to side. Side to side. Side to side. Whew. Whew. Man, I thought we were doing shoulders today. Why are we doing legs? Oh, well, that's right. Because everything's connected. So if you're going to do one, you should do it all. Just in moderation. <sighs> okay. I felt that release. That was the end of what? Cycle five? <sighs> Cycle number six, going to the shoulders. So, do one more round. I'm overhead press warm up with some, me some 30s. We gonna curl, press, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Make sure your abs are tight. A little bit in those legs. Nice, strong. Basically, don't do this. Oh, that hurts you. Even trying it. Don't hurt your back. That's just gonna destroy your back, your shoulders, and everything in between. So when you're pressing up, if your back's arching like that, can it, cut it, start over. Not good, okay? That'll straight up destroy your back. Okay. We're on cycle number seven. Okay, so some squats, some jumpy ropey, inverted pulling. We did a rollout, uh, bilateral overhead press. We did the scap raise, flying. We're looking pretty good here, making good time. Okay, so last TRX exercise for our warm up. I want to do a face pull. So this one's a little tricky. Waist level, to your exit waist level. Face pull, you're going to get to about a 45 degree angle with those feet. And so pull them back, overhand, pull your shoulder blades together, and then pull your knuckles to your forehead. Face pull, okay? So as you pull, you're going to rotate your palms away from your face. Back like that, the main thing here Really get your shoulder blades back and pull. That was the end of cycle seven. We're going into cycle eight. This is really good. You can go way overhead if your shoulders can handle it. You can even throw your hips, do a little squat, hold that position, and then slowly lower yourself out. So squat into that position and then let your arms out. There's all kinds of variations you can do, but we shall save that for another day. For right now, we're doing heavy shoulders without the arm bands. So, cycle number eight, I'm gonna leave these leg bands on while we do our shoulder work. So, while we're in cycle number eight, 
I'm going to pop, pop that guy there, and just pop that like that. Take a cycle, turn it off. There we go. All right, guys, we got the leg bands on, full pressure, and we're going to do some overhead press. <laughs> 